Now, we're always trying to get people to use Pro-Life America and the forum on there. I talk all the time about the forum, and you can really stay up mm -hmm. with what's going on in the pro-life movement by going to that forum. And some people are actually using it. And we've got somebody with us today that has had a lot of success with it. And it's, this is the reason we created this forum. And here's somebody that's actually doing it. And he's joining us from Waco, Texas, Rick Ellis. Hello, Rick. Hey, guys. Hi, uh, Rick. Howdy. Hey. Yeah, uh, yeah, that forum's great stuff, and I want to, uh, you know, just thank you guys for making it uh, available to us. We we're more or less using it kind of like our uh, our internet homepage for what we're doing. Well, let's tell people what you're doing. You've got a campaign called "I Am a Person." Correct. And basically, they're uh, they're images, not the graphic images. In this case, right. it's the images of of unborn children. Correct. And you're trying to. Uh, establish in the minds of the, of the people that see this that these are persons by just showing these cards and so forth and you are having some enormous success simply by using the ProLifeAmerica.com forum. Uh, people all over the country now are getting your posters and getting your cards and we've got a lot of footage I think we're probably showing it up on the screen now of uh, uh, people using these things uh, in front of abortion clinics and I'm, ha I'm seeing people on the forum. I don't get to go in there very much. I go in there a couple of times a day to see what's going on. And I'm hearing people come on there saying, I'm a sidewalk counselor. I'm using the I am a, a person stuff from, from um, uh, Rick Ellis down in Waco, Texas, and women are changing their minds. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, that's a, specifically what we designed it for is uh, because I spent a lot of years behind the Malachi signs and stuff. Right. And, uh, man, you get cussed at, fussed at, and spit on and run over, and that's just the church folks. Right. <laughs> you know, so uh, I started listening to the people. It was all a consensus effort, and I started listening to the people, and they were saying, we've just got to have something else. I'm not against the bloody stuff at all. I think it, uh, we still need to use that stuff. But the thing is, the demographic that we've got to reach to overturn all this mess is uh, mushy middle America, and the bloody stuff just turns them completely off. So we designed something that uh, is totally mushy middle, uh, middle America friendly, and it makes Planned Parenthood look like a one-legged man in a behind-kicking contest, because every time they try to kick mine, they fall on theirs. Well, and you've got this thing, you're showing a seven-week baby. Exactly. And so these people can't come out and say, oh, well, that's, that's, those babies right there never get killed. That's not what this is about. This is about exactly. something the size of a, of a dot on the end of a sentence and all this nonsense right. they put out there. Right. That's when they're mostly killed. This is, most of them are killed right here. Uh, Russ, Rick, I have got to ask you, what is a good old Texas boy? How did you ever get involved in anything like this? Why would you care? I would think you'd be at the rodeo and partying and whatever you do. And why would you get involved in pro-life stuff? Well, how could you not? The whole question is, uh, I raised my right hand, swore to uphold and protect the Constitution of the United States, so help me God once upon a time. And I believe that Constitution also covers these little preborn children. And how could I not? I mean, it's my duty to stand up for them and get in the way of these idiots that want to kill them. Right, exactly. Amen. That's exactly right. But you know, a point I want to make here, Rick, mm -hmm. is that you didn't need a gigantic budget. You no. didn't need a lot of money because no. the resources you needed were already there. You took, right. you took pictures that Dr. Wilkie gave you permission to use. Correct. And then you took that and made uh, simple little postcards right. and posters, and then you used a website that we made available to, to start this thing nationwide. And now sidewalk counselors all over the country are using your materials. Yeah. And this is a point that we keep trying to make to people. Right. Don't reinvent the wheel. There's stuff out there Thank that you, you can do. Right. That mm -hmm. Resources that are available. Dr. Wilkie lets you use his right. pictures. We let you use the forum. Go get them. Well, let, me like interject, about, let me interject wait. something right here. Anybody can go to Dr. Wilkie's uh, website and go to their web, their their net store and buy that CD like we did. It's Windows to the Womb CD. When you buy that CD, within that CD gives you copyright permission, and anybody can get their hands a hold of this I'm a person stuff with that CD and make copies themselves. They don't got to go through me, and they don't got to go through anybody else. They can be empowered individually. And uh, you can't stop stuff like that. It's not bottlenecked then. It's just spread out wide all over the country, and people are doing it. Right, exactly. Well, listen. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Tori. A couple of great things that are going on with Rick is, number one, he's innovative. We can't continue to do the same things over and over and over again. Right. He's right. We need to reach the new demographic, the young kids, that, that, that we need to, as you said earlier, not just tell them what we're against, but show them what we're for. And right. this I Am a Person campaign, now, of course, I'm a big proponent of running these big trucks with aborted mm -hmm. babies, but we're finding tremendous success with this I Am a Person campaign on the sides of our 
truth truck showing right. the young people, hey, this is a baby, and they agree with us, and that's spinning their position on abortion toward the positive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, uh, Rick, we're out of time, but I want to thank you for, mm -hmm. for actually using the stuff that we put the money and the time into producing right. for the purpose that we put it out there. Well, y'all led the way. Y'all gave me the example. Your generosity and the things that you and Troy both have done in my life uh, has been a, an example to me, and that is the spirit behind I'm a person. We're servants. We're not lords, and we just need to serve the individual, and we'll get this job done. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us, Rick. Amen. Thank you. Take care. Right, Rick. Amen. Take care. Um, and I like that because it was inspired by the abolitionists. And the yep. stuff right. Yep. I am a man. I am a man. That's where he got the idea. Yes. It's I am a person in, in, in these campaigns.